Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to be going over all of the hidden features on the BMW 7 Series. Now you have joined me with my 2003 BMW 760 Ally. Now let's get into things. Now the first set of features that I'm going to go into are regarding the key fob so as you know this is a pretty standard bmw 7 series key fob and it actually has quite a few functions to it so obviously we can go ahead and unlock the car we can go ahead and unlock the car we can lock it using the center button of course and with the button at the bottom we can attempt to open the trunk i say attempt i'm having some issues with the trunk i believe the motor is faulty it's quite a common issue on the bmw 7 series but we'll try it anyway yeah i didn't think it's going to work you can hear it powering just doesn't want to lift up you have to give it a helping hand sometimes Yeah, we're going to leave that well alone. Stay in there. Sounds like some gremlins trying to escape. Now we also have an additional button here at the bottom. And now what this is, is it can actually be coded as a panic button. So let's say, for example, you are being robbed or, you know, you are... In a, in a sticky situation shall we say if you hold down this button and it is coded in my case it's not actually coded but you, it can actually sound an alarm all the lights will flash and all the rest of it so yes yeah, a handy feature to have this coded into here it is something that i'm going to be coding in myself at a later date now some features that you may not be aware of with the key fob is the fact that you can actually roll down and roll up the windows and the sunroof if you have one with the unlock button so if you hold down the unlock button we can see the windows start to roll down and in my case I don't have a sunroof but if I was to hold this down for even longer we would see a sunroof open and then if we hold down the lock button we should see the windows start to roll back up now, like I said, if you also have the power fold mirrors coded to your key fob, then they should close if you hold down the lock button and open again with the unlock button. And kind of the last hidden feature with the key fob then is that it actually has a physical key blade in. This is something that people still don't know to this day. And to remove it, all you need to do is push down this button here. And once you've done that, the key blade itself should then be able to be removed and this is a nice little feature it's a handy thing to have say for example you can't gain access to your trunk we have a slot to insert the key into or say for example you have a flat battery or you can't gain entry to your car we have a physical key lock on the driver's door so we're moving on to the interior now and a hidden feature you could say on the interior is to do with the telephone and this is of course if you have the telephone option now you you'll know pretty much straight away because you should have this keypad that slides out like so so you can kind of dial a number on the go so to speak but with the telephone itself if you push this button the telephone should pop out you can remove it because it is a wireless telephone but a lot of people don't actually know how this works you know because you're thinking well is this a landline is this a mobile phone is it a cell phone how does it work now essentially this should stay charged in here if you have rechargeable batteries now there is a slot here you just have to slide that off and it takes AA batteries, regular AA batteries, well, rechargeable ones, should we say. But uh, we'll pop that one back in there. And if you push this button here, you can see we have a kind of like an extra trim piece pop up. Now this is actually your SIM card. So essentially this works like a mobile phone or a cell phone if you're in the US. And 
you essentially need to put your credits or your minutes or your allowance on this SIM card and then you can use this like a regular cell phone. So this is what you need to do then. If you have a SIM card, you need to slot it in there and then push it down, make sure it's all the way seated. And then as long as this is charged, you can use it like a regular phone pretty much. So to me, that is quite a nice feature to be honest. I mean, in today's society, majority of people have a phone, a mobile phone, a smartphone or whatever. But let's say for the rare occasion that your uh, smartphone battery dies, or let's say for example, that you don't want someone to use your phone, but they want to make a phone call, they can do that from this, of course. The next hidden feature, or kind of a feature that isn't that obvious, should we say, is actually in the armrest here, in the center console. So, if we open this up, and if we take a look down inside, we can see we actually have a switch here. Now, it is currently on unlock, but you can put it to lock. Now, this is for, as you can see in the symbol, this is actually for the trunk release. So if you want to essentially lock off the trunk, the boot, the tailgate, whatever you want to call it, then you just have to put this to the lock position. But if you want to allow people to open it, put it to the unlock. So if you find out that your trunk is not opening, you know, it's not even opening with the key or whatever, then there's a good chance that this may be in the lock position. So make sure it is in the unlock position. The next feature then, which is pretty handy to have, in my opinion, is to do with the wing mirrors. So, if you want to, say, park up your car and you want the passenger side to go down so you can see the floor, it can actually do it automatically. So, if you have this switch here over to the driver's side, so if you're in the UK, for example, it's going to be to the right side. If you're in the US, it's got to be to the left. Essentially, you want it the opposite way to the passenger side, the side that you want to drop down. So, we'll push this all the way over to the right because the driver's side is on the right. Now, if we put the vehicle into reverse, we should see the mirror lower, and yes, we do. Now, if you want to turn this feature off because it can be quite annoying at times if you don't want to see the floor, again, you just put it to the opposite side and it will just go back up again. Another little feature with the mirrors, it's not really a hidden feature as such, but if you are wondering how to fold in your mirrors, or if you even have power fold mirrors at all, you'll know because you should have this switch here. If you go ahead and press this once, the mirrors should fold in. And then again, press it, and they, and they should fold back out. Now the final hidden feature on the interior, and this is something that is actually very useful. You need to make sure you have the ignition on, so key in, ignition on. And then what you want to do is hold down this trip odometer button here, or the reset button, whatever you want to call it. Just hold this down, and you should see the service menu come up. And then if you hold it down for a little bit longer, you should see this menu come up. Now, if you go ahead and select uh, identification, so to do that, you just have to hold this down for two seconds. And we should have a bunch of different numbers, but we want to find our VIN. Now, if you add up the five numbers, so seven, eight, zero, nine, and zero, add them up, it equals 24. And uh, just while we're in here, you can kind of see uh, production day and loads of other things as well. But yeah, we want to get out of here, so we just hold this down for a couple more seconds. And then we can do a system test, we can check consumption, we can check the range, the tank, how much fuel is in the tanks, uh, different sensor values. Uh, but we, we want to actually unlock some things. So if we go to unlocking, again, hold this down for a couple of seconds. And if we see the lock is on, so we want to input our VIN, the total number uh, that we added up. So in our case, it was 24. So if you just keep pressing this to add another number, and then if we hold it down, we should see the lock go off. Yep, it should be, uh, should be off now. 
And then if we go into sensor values, because bear in mind these some of these sensor values would have actually been locked uh, from factory. That's where you need to kind of unlock them. Uh, we can now see we have access to our coolant temperature, uh, engine speed, uh, outside temperature, which I don't think that's correct because yeah, it's showing 14.5 degrees Celsius, but that's showing 27.0 degrees. So that cannot be correct. Um, but yeah, the main one we want to see is the coolant temperature. It's a good way to gauge whether or not your thermostat is working. And uh, it's a good way to know if your engine is up to operating temperature. But yeah, this is kind of the secret menu. I do have a full video on this, so you can go check that out if you want. But yeah, nice little feature and something that um, you know a lot of people are still not aware of. And the final couple hidden features then are actually in the trunk itself. So unfortunately, we are going to have to lift this thing up. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Now just kind of ignore that half of the trunk is missing. I'm in the middle of doing something at the moment. But the uh, couple of hidden features that I want to point out to you are actually right next to each other. First one of which then is we have this switch here. This is actually kind of like an isolator switch for the battery. So if you want to turn it off and stop it powering anything, you just slide this to the right. If you want it on, of course, which you will the majority of the time, put it on. And the next thing is actually this cord just here. Now, what this is, is actually an emergency pull cord for the fuel tank flap. So if we pull this, if we remove it from the holder first and if we give this a pull they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine okay so that was definitely not supposed to happen you're just supposed to pull this and then it will open the flap itself i have no idea why this just snapped but um yeah, I guess that's now another thing broken in this car. And now if we gracefully lower the tailgate. Gracefully. Go on. And there we go then. That's pretty much everything. Okay then guys, this has been all of the hidden features on the BMW 7 Series. Hopefully this video has been somewhat helpful. If you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe. I've got a lot more videos to come on this car. Check out my channel. I've made a bunch of videos already. Please give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. Like I said, subscribe if you have not already done so. And I will see you all in that next one. Peace!